I went fishing. It's not something that I do very often. I don't consider myself a fisherman, but me and my mate Seth try and go out on a boat, I don't know, every now and again. We've done it relatively regularly for the last 15 years or so. And it's become a really nice way of reminding ourselves how screwed the world is. I mean, we used to come back with gurnard, bream, mackerel, cod, all kinds of flatties, you know, dinner and some pretty often. But it's dropped off so much over the years. You know, the last few times we went, I didn't get anything. And this time we got welcomed onto the boat by our skipper, who's a rather sweary gentleman. He uh, reminded us very worryingly how there are hardly any butterflies around this summer, and then went on to say that there's also F all fish before we set off on a four hour fishing trip. Um, to be fair though, there wasn't a lot of biting going on, but there was some nibbling, and I came home with a single horse mackerel. Uh, not anywhere near enough for dinner, barely a snack. So I thought that after all the excitement and adventure of the recent Cairngorm Loop series, I'd come out into the woods, calm things down a bit, talk some nonsense, do another camp cooking video. The order of the day is smoking. I've got five inch firebox, which you've all seen before. I've got the billy can oven, which you've all seen before. I've got the little baking sort of grill, which you've all seen before. I've got my fish and I've got a bag of uh, wood shavings from recent whittling projects, mostly apple and cherry, I think. The astute amongst you may notice one thing I don't have, the lid for my billy can oven. <sighs> I mean, I do have one, of course I have one. It's at home, on a shelf. I um, only decided I was gonna do this video as I was having breakfast, and so I packed a little hurriedly in my eagerness to get out, and I've forgotten that quite important part. So, I'm still gonna have a go at this. I'm just gonna have to try and cover the end of the billy can with the horrible bloody fishy tin foil that I've wrapped my fish in, if there's enough. Nothing's ever simple when you're an idiot. So something else I cleverly forgot to bring with me was any kind of tinder or my fire lighters. Yay. Uh, fortunately though, it's, it's really tightly planted, this bit of woodland. So there's loads of good twiggy stuff hung up in the branches, easily in reach, that has stayed pretty dry, even though we've had quite a lot of rain recently. So the fire's going, I'm just gonna get that settled and sorted and then um, get the fish prepped. I've never done this on camera before, but there is actually some precedent for this. I've had two successful smoking sessions in the past. Um, the first was in Norway, a little trout I caught in a lake, and I did that one just on tin foil and wood chips on a, on a normal campfire, which was very nice. And then I did the second time was this exact setup actually on a camping trip. I think it was the same species of fish as well. And that was also very nice. Um, we used different types of wood every time. So yeah, I don't know. It's just another experiment, another reason to be out in the woods on a nice afternoon as much as anything else. 
I don't really know what I'm doing. How long does one smoke a fish for? I haven't got a clue. I can sort of smell something though, so I'm gonna peel the tin foil aside. See what's in there. Mm. That was genuinely delicious. Um, it was only mildly smoky. I think my wood shavings were very small. They're like the fine shavings from fiddly whittling work. So I think they smoked out and just turned to charcoal pretty quickly. Um, so it was a subtly smoky flavor, but the flesh was delicious, really good texture, cooked through really well, even the skin was kind of crunchy fishy good I, I nibbled on a bit of that and as I was nibbling on it annoyingly I suddenly remembered I don't know if any of you have come across the YouTube channel Z Outdoors it's brilliant if you're into whittling or craft basket making that kind of stuff green woodworking and things it's the best channel on YouTube hands down check it out Z Outdoors um, chap on there I saw recently who was making leather out of fish skin and I really really want to try that and it would have been cool to do it with the fish I'd caught but yeah I ate it so what can you do another time I'll have to do some more fish based videos and that's that though really turns out this is a very quick throwaway video kind of pointless if I'm honest just thought I'd uh, show you what I've been getting up to on my Sunday afternoon Gonna head over to my dad's and watch um, the England-Spain football final now. Do some shouting and pretend I care about football, which I don't. Um, <laughs> if you have enjoyed and would like to support the channel, I won't go on about it. I'll put links down in the description. All of these people here, they already know. These people here are the warm, woody flavour steeping into the meaty flesh of life. How's that for a metaphor, simile, something like that? Beyond that, all kinds of crazy stuff going on in life at the moment means I haven't got any big rides planned, but I'm hopeful that there will be some more overnighter stuff uh, before the end of summer, definitely. And there will be videos, of course there'll be videos. There'll be this kind of thing, there'll be poetry of the saddle, there'll be day rides, there'll be foraging. Um, I'm gonna be back in Sweden again next week, so hopefully some videos from southern Sweden as well. Yeah, that's all I've got, I'm afraid. I'm dragging out the ending because I'm aware that this video has probably been a bit filler. Is that rude to call it filler? I didn't mean it to be filler, but I've got to the end and I don't think I've filmed very much, so I'm just talking really. Watching the mosquitoes massing amongst the trees, waiting for my coals to die down. It's just nice, it's just nice being out here, isn't it? People pay money to do this. Come and sit in the woods and smoke a fish. Maybe I should start an outward bound bushcraft school type thing probably not trustworthy enough to do that considering I forgot the lid to my pot, forgot my fire lighters, forgot my tinder. <laughs> ah well, we shall see. If I don't die of food poisoning and intestinal parasites then I shall count this one a success. Is this the longest outro I've ever done? What are we on now? That's like three minutes. I'm off. See you all on the next one. Bye now.